Well, hey everybody, I'm gonna do another my point of view. Um, it was brought to my attention about two, two and a half weeks ago that a 10 year old girl in Ohio was pregnant. She was six weeks and three days pregnant. Got in contact with another doctor in Indiana about giving this 10 year old an abortion which they agreed and the kid was sent over state lines to have an abortion okay uh, I'm actually for this so because in order for a 10 year old to be pregnant there had to be an illegal action such as a rape or molestation Okay, criminal needs to go to jail. Now, here's where things start to get kind of fishy. All right, I mean, smells like tuna, definitely. Tuna and salmon. Uh, there's no follow-up. There's no other story about it. And I get online I do my research okay. who in Ohio is charged with a crime of raping a 10 year old child uh, can't find nothing no police reports no news stories about that at all you would think that, that would make headlines because that's a 10 year old child that's horrendous that a 10 year old child would even be raped. So somebody would be going after somebody if it's your dad, brother, cousin, uh, even in those scenarios, it's a pretty disturbing thing to have happen anywhere. It, it's out of the mind, how in the world does this even happen? a 10 year old child was it a school teacher who knows okay so because there was no follow up I decided well let's take a look at Ohio law see how true the abortion thing really is let's see what would prevent somebody at 6 weeks and 3 days to get an abortion I actually looked into it and yes at 6 weeks an adult is no longer allowed to have an abortion so I took further look into the abortion laws of Ohio. It says anyone that was a rape victim that was held against their will during the six weeks is still allowed to go and get an abortion. It also states that if there's a med medical necessity in order to save the life of the mother or such as that an abortion is still legal in Ohio up to 18 weeks. Oh, so let's say because of the pregnancy, the mother becomes extremely anemic. Yes, the child can be terminated as it could cause the death of the mother. That's the reason why there are so many iron supplements out there for prenatal vitamins. Um, the, these are legitimate circumstances that they have in the Ohio law for abortion. You've got medical reason, you've got criminal reason, and you've got six weeks if you know what you're doing and birth control failed you. That's a reasonable request from Ohio, if, if you ask me, by law that they would have. That way, if there was a confinement after a rape, which led to somebody being held for longer than six weeks, when they're finally found, they could still receive an abortion all the way up to 18 weeks. Uh, that's the entire first trimester. 
um, maybe a week or two more. I, I can't remember off the top of my head. But that's in the Ohio law. It's already structured. It's a pretty decent structure, if you ask me. So then I got to thinking about it. Well, if the child got pregnant due to a criminal act, and she's been detained against her will for the past six weeks, and she finally now made it to a doctor, uh, yes, the doctor could still perform the abortion. However, the doctor would have to report this to Children's Services. And I think anybody with uh, one brain cell in their brain would sit there and go, this happened to a 10-year-old? Let me get the police on the phone right now. It wouldn't be, oh, you're 10 years old, you're six weeks and three days. Let me email a friend of mine to help you. No. That would be irrational and just mind-blowingly insane. That you would circumvent the actual law. There's, it is law in the state of Ohio if there's suspicion of abuse or sexual assault or even neglect to a minor the doctor has to inform the police immediately or risk suspension of their medical license and not just a short short little two weeks it's suspension no you're looking at complete revoke of that license to where you cannot practice medicine in the state of Ohio if you're failing to comply with Ohio law that clearly states that if you suspect sexual abuse, physical abuse, or neglect of a child, you must report it. You're telling me a kid walked into a doctor's office at 10 years old. They come up positive on a pregnancy test. So you do an ultrasound to find out that they're six weeks and three days pregnant by the size of the fetus. What monster did you just allow to escape persecution? You should be held just as high at account as the monster that did this. You did not report it to the police. The state of Ohio has even issued a complete referendum that uh, nobody has reported a 10-year-old pregnant child to the authorities in the state of Ohio. Where did this story come from? Why is it we are hearing from one doctor in Indiana where it is also illegal not to report suspicion of sexual abuse, physical abuse, or neglect to the local authorities with a minor child in your presence that you would suspect of those three things. Mind-boggling. It's just absolutely mind-boggling that here we have two adult doctors, one in Ohio and one in, Indian, in Indiana, that want to sit there and play well, we're going to do an abortion on a 10-year-old girl that she's six weeks and three days pregnant. We're going to transport her across state lines and without parental permission, that's illegal. Yes, it is. It's considered actually child trafficking. So you're going to admit to a crime and then you're going to admit again that you failed to do the number one thing that you need to do by your Hippocratic Oath which is do no harm and fail to alert the local authorities that yes, I have a 10 year old that is pregnant, that lives in Ohio, that I just transferred across state lines to give an abortion to. Yet I'm gonna get a news crew and I'm gonna say the same story to a news crew 
at this point, you think by now, two and a half weeks later, we would have the face of the monster plastered all across the nine o'clock news across this country. But no, we don't even have a police report. We have nothing. Me personally, I want to know who the son of a bitch is because I break his damn jaw. However, at this point, I'm beginning to wonder if the entire thing is not completely made up. There's no police report. There's no proof that this exam or procedure was ever performed. Yet we're being told by a doctor who is basically this close to losing her license as is for failure to report child abuse and neglect and sexual assault to the authorities. We have a doctor that's unnamed with an unnamed email sending an email to this doctor, which is a nut job, and I wouldn't send a cat to. Um, yeah. Is this a publicity stunt, or is it a real story? I pray to God it's a publicity stunt, and no child actually had to go through this. But at the same point in time, it's so scary to think that somebody would have the audacity to panic the entire nation over a 10-year-old pregnant child when they're just calling wolf. That's somebody that should not practice medicine. That's somebody that should be locked up in a mental institute wearing a straitjacket because they have no concept of reality and what these things can do to society. They get on us all the time about spreading false information. Yeah, here's a story that I cannot find any facts in whatsoever. There's no facts. There's no research being done. There's no criminal investigation on the rape of a 10-year-old. There's no investigation from children's services. There's no investigation wherever. And the laws in Ohio clearly state that yes, because she would be a victim of rape, even though it is statutory rape, it's still a victim of a crime and she could have the abortion in her own state. You're telling me that we have this story and there's no follow-up. Nobody wants to do a thing about it. Should be right now, there should be a national manhunt for the monster to rape the child. There should be a thorough investigation into those accusations. And there needs to be a thorough investigation into these two doctors, both of them. One, why is it the doctor in Ohio is still practicing medicine and failed to report something as heinous, absolutely gut richly like heinous to the police? And the doctor that actually performed it, how is she still practicing medicine for the same reason? Either we've got one lying doctor in Indiana or we have an entire society that is at high risk of somebody capable of raping a 10 year old child running around free because nobody's doing the right thing but everybody wants to publicize it. There's something so screwed up in today. With all these fact checkers, fact checking ordinary people. And YouTube's probably going to flag this video. 
that those fact checks can't dive into a story like this and tell us that it's true or false. Because at this point in time, it's looking like this is a fake story. Or everybody's being complicit and letting a child rapist walk the streets. Both are extremely scary. Now, I'm a huge proponent against any form of censorship. But the reason why I'm against censorship is because opinions help people formulate their thought. If I give my opinion, I'm listening to your opinion, we can figure out a middle ground, we can grow as a country. If we can't give our opinions and our speech is being squashed, that can hurt us a thousand times worse to get to the root of the problem and fixing it together. My opinion might be wrong, it might be right, but I don't know until I get my opinion changed. And I won't change my opinion until the facts are in front of me. It's that simple. But this here, being two and a half weeks old, and I've been doing my research and my homework on it, and yeah, sure, I found thousands of videos of 10-year rapists. I mean, 10-year rape victim travels across state lines for abortion. I found thousands of videos for the story. Not one about the criminal investigation that should be happening if this is true. I cannot find one period. That is sickening. And I believe that's the most dangerous thing that can happen to our society right now is that we run to the end of the chain of a story one person gives us and we don't follow up on it. Because if we don't follow up on it privately or publicly, what else are we being lied to about? Because this was carried by all networks all major news media, all minor news media. Yet there is no follow-up reports. Except for one. I did find one. And that was Tucker Carlson on Fox News. And he's wondering the same thing I'm wondering. We've both done our homework. There's nothing to find. Let's check the validity of the story by now and make sure that this is just propaganda bullshit and squash it. Or we find this child's rapist and we put him away and throw away the damn key. Or we bury him under the jail where he belongs. But we ain't going to find nothing out if we can't get to the truth because two doctors screwed up the entire situation. Or we're going to find one lying doctor that needs to lose her medical license. It's that simple. Y'all, this is me, Nicholas Tenue. My point of view. Have a good one.